Hi, and welcome to this monthly channel update. Uh, my, I'm Georgie. I'm the guy who is yelling at the screen and trying to explain what's happening in Ukraine on this channel. I'm really glad to see you here. And this is my monthly uh, channel update. Here we talk about what's happening with the channel and I get to essentially experience your feedback on how to improve. Um, as I explained a lot in the previous videos, I'm not a YouTuber. I didn't plan to be a YouTuber. This was not something that was on my agenda. This channel was created basically for two people in my vicinity that, uh, as you know, I live in Denmark. And they were a little bit frustrated that Danish news at that moment were kind of slow uh, on covering a lot of the situation in Ukraine. So they basically asked me to, can you explain this to us? At first, I was just explaining them in messages. But at some point, it, the messages became just a little bit too long. So I just started making videos and the first videos I was sharing privately and I'm not going to open them publicly because they're, they're very bad. Uh, but uh, the next videos I just kind of ticked the public mark and I just posted them as publicly and then people appeared and well, here I am. And now we have a, an excellent kind of milestone to talk about, obviously. Uh, as if you follow, you know, then some couple of days ago we have hit the 10,000 people mark and after that now we are at 11,200 and over that already which is about 11,198 people more than I was expecting uh, to see on this channel uh, I was not expecting that audience I, I for me it's it's is a it's a whole new discovery process um, I I'm not a public person I'm not very good at uh, really wide public speaking appealing to the audience so i'm kind of um, how do you say learning as we go uh, let's put it this way uh, but uh, i think the biggest uh, obviously extent of things and where a lot of my newer subscribers came is from the operator starsky channel uh, he's been a big inspiration for me at the start of the war when the war just broke out uh, and there was fights around hostamel and it was still very much unclear what's going to be the situation around Ukraine. Uh, it was his reporting. Back then, he didn't do a lot of reporting in English yet. Uh, so I watched some of his Facebook feeds uh, that just appeared for me, and they were mostly in Ukrainian. So and that, that helped me kind of get into the more sane position that it's going to be fine. Ukraine is going to be fine because I was very worried about some of my family and friends in Ukraine, especially one of my uh, better friends that lives in Bucha. And it's actually quite a crazy story. And I think it's um, it's a good enough place to uh, tell you about it. Basically, this person, he was living in Bucha. And when the Russians came in, uh, he was still living in Bucha because he had family and they were not very mm, eager to move. The, move away because there was still some hesitancy and, and, and I think some of the people just have this uh, as a reaction that they just want stability and nothing to change in the face of this overwhelming danger. I'm not a psychologist, you tell me if you are. But, sorry, but what we saw is that people uh, were staying even despite the actual occupying force and they were having actually explosions and firefights outside their apartment and they were still staying in, in the in the city. And then uh, there was a little bit of a moment uh, around Bucha where Ukrainian forces kind of hit back a little bit at Russians and Russians fall fall a little bit away from Bucha. And during that, it was basically a couple of days where my friend essentially got out of there. And sometimes it was hard because there was not always connection. The internet after a lot of those firefights was broken down and I was not completely sure if he was alive or not. It was sometimes very... Mm. stressful obviously my stress is nothing compared to to what they have experienced so uh, don't let me take them from it but the idea is that uh, once the russian after that came back in bucha and we know just how big of uh, war crimes and actual executions took place in that uh, city and uh, as a person that's been in bucha uh, before obviously it became a completely infamous name it was a settlement that essentially was joked about that nothing really happens there. Like it's a place that, yes, it's, it's, it's a nearby town near to the capital where people live, 
but it, it, it's literally we were joking around that like nothing is really happening there we were just chilling around at his place where he was uh, working or at his apartment it's a uh, it, it, it's completely different perspective now that uh, it became so world infamous uh, and not for the best of reasons but uh sorry for this tangent i just wanted to share because i think one of the biggest things that i'm really happy about, about this channel in particular and how it's growing is not the number of subscribers though i obviously love right i love that some of the messages that i'm saying are getting the wider audience and that's why i want to extend my thanks uh, to to all of you that are sharing and promoting uh, this channel I really believe that this is not some my channel. Um, I, I guess it's something that I kind of learned in Denmark uh, is that we all participate, right? I, I would never be <laughs> essentially running this channel if there would not be a people uh, watching this channel. So it's as much of you as watcher as watchers and subscribers of this channel. It's your as well achievement. That's why I'm extending essentially all the glory to you because I'm just literally just reading and creating some of the content, but it's you who are doing the hard work of actually liking, sharing, because all of that massive work is relevant for the YouTube algorithm. And without it, it doesn't matter what, how good or bad the content I make, if it never gets uh, introduced or shared by anyone, then it's, 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 it's a, it's an old saying about the uh, tree forest. Like, I'm not sure if you've heard, but if, if a tree falls in the forest, but there is no one to hear it fall, did it fell? So it's it's about the same kind of a philosophical question around that. So I'm extremely grateful and I want all of you to be uh, extremely proud of what you're doing with it. So it's congratulations on team 10, 11 and 1200. Let's put it precisely this time. And with that, I also want to say a couple of words about uh, monetization. So I've been finally approved with all of the verifications because there's needs needed to be checked like uh, that you live on the address where you're subscribing that uh, you're an actual physical person I needed to submit like my picture and my ID it was it was pretty funny uh, I've never did it uh, over the internet so it's I guess because it can be a really big business now that I think about this right because there are channels that are making probably millions uh, just by doing the videos I mean not not that I didn't thought about it. It's just I never kind of put it, you know, on myself that I need to understand how the money gets from YouTube and what's the bureaucracy behind it. Because in my simple monkey brain, it was, oh, there is some big YouTuber guy and then YouTube, and then YouTube essentially once a month just gives him a, a coffer of money and that's it. Like, <laughs> I don't know. That's just how I thought it was. Obviously, it's a, it's a lot a uh, more difficult procedure with a lot of like tax forms and and everything around it but the that's with that said uh as i explained uh you know before i want to be a little bit more precise this time that on this channel until the end of war i'm planning to essentially donate the money to ukrainian army uh whatever profits i make um, from those profits that so that means I'm paying the taxes if I need to pay taxes and then after taxes uh, then I'm gonna have I'll, I'll post somewhere the list of equipment that I'm gonna have in mind because there is uh, like some payments that I do for applications that I'm using like uh, like um, this uh, Adobe studio that I use for editing so that requires some kind of payments and uh, other other monthly payments uh, i'm having my full-time job as a day job and i'm earning well enough to to have it okay and i don't require additional sustenance for me from youtube so until i start earning as much uh, that it might become my full-time job if that would ever happen uh, and then i can obviously switch and then maybe get my salary for myself but that is a long way away so for right now any profit that i make 50% up to 50% max will go to buy some of the things on the list to improve this channel. And if the list is over, then everything else is going to get donated to the Ukrainian army uh, until the, the, the end of the war. So I'm not planning to, so you can say that this is going to be uh, somewhat of a non-profit and that's why I'm going to see if I can get some kind of tax breaks and so on. D don't worry about it. I'll figure, figure it out. 
but that means also another thing that uh, I'm also opening up a little bit of uh, what is it like a pa patrons uh, it's uh, in a patreon so there is an option to to apply for membership through patreon I've created that one I've also opened the YouTube membership and we actually have uh, a first member uh, and he gets um, very like a uh, recognition and I want to thank him uh, right now personally for being the first person that is actually uh, on his own free will do donating money to this channel to support it it's uh, his name is Gulo Gulo and I'm just gonna post it here with a screenshot and uh, I was very I was almost like looking for a button like how to refund this because I haven't declared it and I'm gonna be working over the next week to uh, make sure that it's a little bit better because right now there is very little content that is around it because as I explained to you I'm discovering as I go along uh, I don't know what needs to be in there but I'm gonna see what kind of you know benefits I can add to 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 that but We'll see. I know that some people ask for the art, so maybe that can be benefit, like, you know, the arts that I put in my videos. Uh, so maybe, maybe I can just put the arts for people to download. That would be a pretty cool thing now that I think about this. So uh, join membership, join Patreon, but just know that probably over the next weeks, or let's put it month because it's kind of busy at my day job right now. Uh, so within the coming month, I will settle the things up and by the next a month we're gonna have a properly working uh, membership system both in patreon and on youtube membership additionally there is also super like super chats you can use those those are also set up i don't think that there is any specific setups i will read everything uh, maybe i can just state that during the monthly um, updates like these i will then read or go over super chats or during my updates to the videos uh, you tell me, like, write this in comments, like, tell me how do you think it should be. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of you that watched YouTubes and like something else that someone else is doing. Let's shape this channel together. As I explained, this is as much as your channel as me just uh, recording some of this stuff. So contribute. This is really cool. And that's, uh, talking about contribution, that's the biggest part. The fact that we have a community in our community tab and I, I advise everyone if you're new to this channel or you're just watching my updates check out the community tab like just the, the responses that people are getting there we're posting some of the news there it's really amazing really nice the the mood there is is amazing i love you all guys and uh yeah and obviously yeah to finalize the money part that whatever profits gets uh, up to a half of it if i have something to improve on the channel on the list will go to improve the channel, to buy technical equipment, pay for the software, and then the rest I will donate up until the war ends. And then if you want to stick, stick with the channel, we're gonna discuss that. But let's hope, let's support the Ukrainian army and actually do it with some kind of action. Uh, for those of one who, who don't want to donate, I'm also including two, um, well, yeah, let's, let's stick for, with one because the second one, I'm still not sure. So I'm gonna uh, suggest the, uh, donations to the charity that's called sign my rocket it's a donation to the to the ukrainian army but it's a very cool one so basically you donate the money and then you can get a signature and with a photo and verification of a, a actual ammunition piece signed up by the by the military to you and it's uh, something that's been very popular right now with the um, north atlantic fellow organization it's the meme dog that are fighting russian propaganda on twitter they're amazing guys um, but I really recommend that charity because it's both fun and it's also really actually supported because they're verified and they're pretty nice. Uh, the second charity, I wanted to do the one that kind of helps the civil population. Uh, and I found one really nice one. It's a um, charity that was distributing uh, like a food rations, rations to people in the deoccupied territories. Because when the Ukrainians push the Russians out, there is a lot of villages that's been cut out from a lot of the things and people in those villages they haven't received a lot of supplies in ages because russians mostly just take stuff from there and people there are suffering a lot and there are a couple of guys they used to be businessmen and then they sold their business uh, and then just became a charity donors. they're literally driving a couple of cars and like a fleet of cars essentially with like a food rations in, in a bag and just distributing them all over and uh, unfortunately they don't have the really nice setup 
for payment from abroad. It's mostly Ukrainian based, but I'm going to see research if they actually have something set up and maybe talk with them to have that donation available. And I think it's a cool one because, you know, you can actually quickly follow what the contribution is that you're delivering to. Because my biggest problem personally is that there are big charities, donations, and we know like Red Cross and Amnesty International. But we know that when you're donating, well, Travesty International, as some of my commenters t told me, I think that's a very good name. Uh, but the point is that a lot of the money that's get donated to those big charities very often goes to support the organization around that rather than getting to the people that actually need help. That's why I think focusing on targeted smaller charities really makes sense. Even charities that are well known in Ukraine, such as Pritula Foundation, which is really cool to donate, but then you get um, really big, nice, flashy things, but maybe you just want to donate to for some people that were hungry to get some food. Who knows? So uh, we'll talk about that one. And for now, I'm just going to post the link to sign my rocket. I'm going to figure out the second one and update you on a community page in the coming week or so. Then there was a question about uh, te Telegram or Twitter, uh, which social media, because very often I post community posts, but there's sometimes like it's very restrictive. Like I cannot link any video. Well, it's, it, it's a very, very shallow system for for, for any kind of messaging, to be honest, this community. I love that everyone is watching and it makes sense because YouTube is my primary platform, but just the, the messaging system is very restrictive. And I'm also very afraid of any kind of copyrights and so on, because the problem with copyrights is not that you're not getting money, is that you are getting throttled in views, like your video stopped being sharing, so the information is not getting out there. So I'm afraid that like, if there is like a community post that's referencing, I don't know, some kind of wreckage of the Russian uh tank and there was you know it's like oh someone thinks it's offensive then your whole channel might get deleted i don't know like we know that youtube has been quite uh, picky about it that's why i'm a little bit afraid that's why i was thinking either telegram or twitter twitter i don't really enjoy twitter just because there's so many trolls there it's it's like a primary troll orama so a lot of these ukrainian posts i'm afraid are gonna turn to instead of us just sharing information and discussing it, we're just gonna get into this weird um, overflow with bots and trolls. And th th I don't want that. I want people just to get a perspective. In that sense, Telegram is a little bit better because there is a web version of it and I can just use Telegram channel for uh, referencing. So I can make uh, my YouTube community tab will still uh, stay as a main source where uh, I will share something and we can talk it over. And then uh, there is going to be also Telegram that's going to have the ability to submit some kind of news if you want to share it uh, with us. Uh, there is a bot system in Telegram for those of you that don't know how Telegram works. So there can be bots set up and those bots then can verify whether or not this news is worth sharing or not, like by the moderator or not, like someone like me or maybe someone of, of uh, our community will join up. We'll see. But the point is, it's just can be easily viewed from the from the online and I can just make a YouTube community post and just link it to Telegram. So that's another option. So again, let's talk it over, discuss. Twitter is a possibility, but I really consider that that there might be a lot of the trolls and bots uh, online and I don't want our posts to be turned into a Russian paid troll fest, whatever thing. So I think that's that's about it. Uh, I'm really happy about how this channel is going. I'm really happy that you guys are so nice. Uh, you can easily subscribe to Patreon or, or membership, but just know that it's not yet set up. So don't expect much for now. I will keep you updated what's happening and uh, just wait up for the next video. It's coming right away, right around the corner on the Monday. We have a lot of things to talk about. Uh, I'm sharing some of the news in a community post because I don't make video today, but it's going to be very, very soon. See you.